Hey guys, welcome to King Kid. Somebody call for the king. red shrimp right here all cleaned up cleaned it up with some lime I'm about to season up and make we're gonna make some pepper shrimp with this tonight some chinese seasoning just shire sauce poison mm -hmm. sauce all-purpose seasoning and ginger and garlic paste making everything spicy tonight guys Check out all the hot pepper sauce going into all this stuff. And there with some of the garlic, pimento, and hot pepper mix that we chopped up. Soy sauce. A little bit of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. go to your thing. Making a side of spaghetti. We just boiled it and strained it. This is a gluten-free spaghetti that you can find. Hey guys, check out the flour we're using. Oat flour. We give our fried chicken wings the perfect coating. Mm -hmm. Just want it with some oil there. About to fry up these wings. All right, guys, trying to dip our wings in the flour. Gonna fry them up slowly. See the oil's not too hot, it's just perfect, just right. Alright. Feels like gonna do three at a time. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay. We're being brave today, doing four at a time. <laughs> Guys, wait till you see how this oat flour works on fried chicken. You will be amazed, and this is all you're going to want to do from now on. So it's steam frying. Yeah, guys. Special tip, cover it so we can let it steam fry. Guys, check it out. After about seven minutes, we're giving it a little flip so it can completely fry on every single side of it. But it's mostly in there. But just flipping it around a little bit. We're gonna start making our pepper shrimp now. I'm going in with some fresh ginger. Remember guys, this is our way of making our our version of pepper shrimp. So of course things are gonna be different, but trust me, it's gonna be amazing. Ah, lots of ginger in there. Nice. Uh, check it out. First set of wings are done. I want to take about 12 minutes total. And look at the nice little crisp on there. Wouldn't really need much more than that. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, guys, mm, smells amazing. Going in with our second batch now. Yep, another four pieces. 
I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up again. And guys, the reason we cover it up is so the chicken will stay nice and soft. Pure sesame oil. Yeah. So this ginger. Letting all this flavor up this oil in there. All right, check out all the goodness we're going in now with. The hot peppers, some red and green bell peppers, and some onions. Nice big piece. Wow, I can smell the hotness both in my nose right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the and let this saute up a little bit. We want the vegetables and everything to stay pretty crispy. And then we're gonna throw in the we're gonna throw in the shrimp just now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going in with our seasoned shrimp now, guys. We just let those vegetables saute up for a couple minutes. That's it. I always want to cook these shrimps real quick. Before these vegetables get too soft. Sprinkle some Chinese seasoning on top. No MSG version. Give that nice Chinese pepper flavor. And just a little bit of soy sauce and that's it. We're just gonna wait for this shrimp to fully cook up. I'll be all good to go with this. Very simple, fast meal. Just like that, the shrimp is all done, guys. Perfectly, only in a, well, it took about less, like 10 minutes to cook all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Shrimp is nice and tender and the vegetables are still crunchy. Now we're gonna do our noodles, guys. Putting enough of our avocado oil, of course. Some of the sesame oil again. Nice and hot. Went in with some celery and some corn, peas, and carrots. Second batch is done, guys. Check it out. Got a nice crisp on there. As you can see. Chow mein seasoning. Mm -hmm. Adding just a sprinkle on top of everything here. Some ginger and garlic paste to flavor up these noodles here. And that's the uh, Chinese seasoning. That's Caribbean flavor. Yeah. Caribbean flavor, Chinese seasoning, no MSG. Going in with some fresh spinach, guys. You gotta eat your greens. Organic baby spinach. Yep, organic baby spinach. <laughs> All right, guys. Everything's been sauteing up for a while. Using our gluten-free spaghetti noodles today. This should be the perfect little side for our wings and shrimp. Let everything saute in there for about 10 minutes. Now we're adding these beautiful noodles. Give that a good little mix now. 
get all that nice oil and seasoning and all those peas and carrots mixing all these noodles. Adding a little bit of soy sauce on top. Just to give it a nice little color, an extra color, an extra flavor. And a little bit more chow mein seasoning. And Chinese seasoning. Yep. We love our flavor, guys. We're never having too much flavor in there. Wow. Check out how the chicken's looking, guys. A beautiful color. We got this oil on a nice, pretty high heat the, the whole time. And just like that, right after we stirred it all up and added our extra little toppings and seasonings, it's all done. Perfect, guys. Look at that. All right, guys, let me show you the spread for tonight. Check out all our nice wings here. We're about to top them with a bunch of good stuff just now. Check out our pepper shrimp. <laughs> wow. Our style, of course. Check out our chow mein here, noodles. All nice and seasoned up with all these nice veggies in there. Check out the lineup of our sauces this evening. We got some of our Sugrim's hot pepper sauce, ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, mango habanero, buffalo sauce, and oh, what's this? Custom homemade garlic sauce. All right, Shalini, <laughs> let's see how you dress up your plate today. You got some wings and sweet potato fries. What are you going in there with? Mango habanero sauce. Mango habanero sauce. That's one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. Oh, just drizzle that all over. I got you. And out of all these other amazing sauces, what else you got? Buffalo, Buffalo and mango habanero? Mm -hmm. You're going nuts today. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's looking good though. Look at those colors. Oh my God. And anything else? Oh, my famous garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. Should be a hit, should be a hit as always. Oh my God. Look at that, that's, that's, a, that's a finishing touch you need right there. Mm -hmm. All right, Shalini, let's do this taste test real quick. I know you love chicken wings. Mm -hmm. You've had a lot of chicken wings from all over the world but these are homemade today. So go ahead, try it out and let us know what you think. For all our subscribers watching, we have to know. Wow. All right. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, guys. You heard what she said? She said it was good. Look at all the sauces. I didn't show you guys how I dressed mine, but this garlic sauce, some mustard, and some of that yellow Sugrim's pop sauce. So, I'm going to take a bite. All right. Mmm. Wow, that oat flour coating on it. You don't miss, you don't miss the other types of coating that you usually use, like real flour and stuff. That oat flour, and like chicken that's so juicy with all that seeding that we put in there. Just wow. Tastes good, guys. Really good. Definitely recommend. 
If you tried our recipe, let us know. If you fried up with oat flour, let us know, because this is the new, this is the new wave, guys. You don't miss out on this. Excellent. All right, guys, now that I'm done with my appetizer, got my main meal here. Got some of the, the shrimp, noodles, some salad. And y'all might think I'm crazy, but I put a little bit of garlic sauce on top. This garlic sauce goes with, good with everything, of course. Let's try it out. Oh, wow. You don't need any extra pepper for this, guys. Wow. That is really what you call pepper shrimp, I must say. The noodles taste really nice and soft. Another excellent meal tonight, guys.